watch your breath as it comes in, goes out, try to stay right there. As for the Dharma, the Dharma today is about what today commemorates. Today is called Makapucha. It commemorates the day in the full moon in the third month of the lunar year. When a group of 1,250 arhats came spontaneously to see the Buddha, this was at the beginning of his teaching career, and he gave them a long talk on the basic principles of the teaching, so they go out and, and teach others, because some of them had gained an awakening after only hearing one or two Dharma talks. And they didn't know the Dharma, or at least the way Dharma, the Buddha explained it all the way through, so he gave them a very thorough explanation. Then he gave a short summary of the explanation at the end, and part of that summary was what's called the, the heart of the Buddha's teachings, is not doing any evil, developing skillfulness to a full extent, and then cleansing the mind. Everything in the teachings comes down to this in one way or another. In other words, anything you, at all that you know is not good, and it doesn't refer only to outside things that are, that are harmful, but also just the fact that you give in to defilements in your own mind. Those are things that we've got to learn how not to do. We have to be very careful. We tend to think of karma as being something that's done just with the body and with, with speech, but the most important karma is what's being done with the mind. And if your mind is heading you in the, in the wrong direction, okay, that's, that's got to be changed. Something comes up in the mind. There, it's normal that things will come up in the mind, all kinds of things, but it's what you do with them that counts right now. And if you see something unskillful and you start playing along with it, then it de develops into a long, involved story, and then it finally comes out in your words and your deeds. It creates trouble for you, trouble for other people. So as soon as you see any little thing in the mind that you, you know is not right, you've got to learn how to cut it away, cut it away. And at the same time, you try to develop what is good to give the mind nourishment, because if the mind doesn't have any nourishment at all, it's just going to go back and looking for the old things that it threw away. So you give it good things to think about, you give it good topics to think about, you give it good ways of dealing with other people. You try to develop as much generosity as you can, not only with material things, but also with your time, with your energy, with your knowledge, with your forgiveness. And the sense of well-being that comes from that is food for the mind. But even though the mind is well fed, it still needs to be cleansed as well. It's like if you only eat large meals and the body is well, well nourished, but you don't clean it, then it's not going to be pleasant for you to be around yourself even, to say nothing about other people. So you need to cleanse your mind as well. You do that with the meditation, getting the mind to be very still, so you can see even more clearly the things coming up in the mind that are harmful and seeing the things that are harmless, and so you can deal with them more effectively. That's why anything that's harmful, you dig down, dig down, you find where it's coming from. You can pull it out by the root. That's the end of the problem. And so long as the root is still in the ground, it's still going to keep growing up again and again and again. At the very least, you should be able to cut it off at the level of the ground. But if you really want to take care of the problem, you've got to dig it up by the root. So these are some of the teachings that the Buddha gave to the Arahants to pass on to others. Because after all, those Arahants had already achieved their goal. But they were going to go out now and to teach others. And this is, whether you teach others or not, the example you give to others is an important way of teaching. So try to make sure that your life in your thoughts and your words and your deeds exemplifies these principles, that you don't do anything at all that's evil, even little things. You try to develop your goodness as much as you can, and you try to cleanse the mind of all the defilements that lead to the problems to begin with. If you act in this way, that in itself becomes a way of spreading the teaching. The people see that the Dharma is a really good thing. People who live by the Dharma are people really who are really admirable. So everything goes on in your mind. You want to be very careful to make sure that it's in line with these principles, so that your heart is in line with the heart of this Buddhist teachings.